A mysterious space object is hurtling towards Earth, and while it could just be a comet, a renowned theoretical physicist is pushing the possibility that it could be a nuclear-powered spacecraft. This is the image of the so-called Three-Eye Atlas, raising new questions, with Harvard professor Avi Loeb theorizing this Manhattan-sized space object could be emitting its own light. And if that's the case, it could indeed be alien technology. Adding to the mystery, Three-Eye Atlas also appearing to lack something all comets have in common, a tail. So what exactly could this be, and are we ready for it? Professor Avi Loeb is joining us live, head of the Galileo Project, best-selling author. Uh, Professor, always good to see you. Thanks for making the time tonight. Thanks for having me, Natasha. So, Professor Loeb, uh, talk to me about this best photo we have of this object and the glow of light you describe. What makes you think that this could be nuclear-powered? Well, we don't have evidence for nuclear power, but we have evidence that the uh, the, there is no tail behind the object, so we see the object as red, and um, there was a suggestion maybe dust uh, in front of it is making it red, but uh, in fact, uh, there is not enough dust. Uh, there is very little dust in front of it based on the image. In fact, you can get uh, all of this dust over a period of six months from a layer that is just the one millimeter thick, and it could be just dirt uh, evaporated from the surface. The one thing that was reported just a few days ago is from a, another observatory, Sphere X, that claims to have detected carbon dioxide, CO2, uh, in a large uh, region around this object. And we don't know why uh, that the same instrument didn't detect any water. Often, in the case of comets, you see water molecules, uh, and that was not detected. Uh, so the mystery remains, why don't we see a cometary tail? Why do we see glow ahead of the object, not behind it? Uh, and uh, if the object happens to be 20 kilometers in diameter, as is the case, if the reddening is just the surface of the object, from its brightness, we infer that it must be of order 20 kilometers, then it's very uh, difficult to get such a giant rock out of the uh, rocky material in interstellar space. Uh, we expect such a giant rock to be delivered once per 10,000 years or longer. There is not enough rocky material to deliver it within the past decade. So uh, th the question remains, what is this object? Is it a very rare rock? Uh, that is not really a typical comet that we're used to, or maybe it was targeting the inner solar system because of some technological design. And the trajectory of this object is aligned with the planets around the sun, and that leads me to suggest that we must uh, monitor it. Uh, I, I currently give it a four, uh, between zero for a natural object and a 10 for a, a definitely technological object. And I hope that the data from the Webb telescope that should have been collected already but not publicized, will tell us more about it. This is fascinating. At this point, do you believe that the space object could pose a danger to Earth? You said that the object could be sent by extraterrestrials to test our response. I mean, if this were a danger, do we have the technology to deal with it when it, when it comes nearby in October? Well, we don't know what technology it represents, if it is technological, and it's um, a blind date on, of interstellar proportions. Uh, you know, and my point is, even if it's a rock, we better get as much uh, information as possible. There is a camera of half a meter in diameter next to the Mars right now. It's called the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, uh, and the camera is called the High Rise. And I contacted the people who operate this camera, and they will look at the uh, 3i atlas with a, a pixel resolution of about 30 kilometers when 3i atlas will pass close to mars on october 3rd and then it will go behind the sun we, we won't be able to observe it uh, but my hope is that when it gets close for example to jupiter that the juno mission near jupiter will observe it uh, and so we need to use all space assets to learn more about it if it happens not to be a comet um, you know, we need the, this will be a wake up call. Uh, we need to establish some organization that will, in the future, uh, interpret interstellar objects and tell us about the risk. And we might want to deploy spacecraft in orbit around the sun that will serve as an alert system that, or an interceptor system that, that uh, will defend our planet. Wow. So much to think about, as always. Professor Avi Loeb, uh, really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.